Hello everybody, this is a, a kind of a comparison video on buying an iPad for the first time this Christmas. Um, this Christmas is definitely an optimal time to buy an iPad because there's now five different kinds. There's four generations of the first iPad, um, or four generations of the, like, the original 10-inch iPad, and then there's the new iPad Mini, which comes in at um, 7.9 inches. So you have a lot of choices. Um, some of them are only available from some of them are available available from Apple. Some of them are only available refurbished or used. So um, it'll be a big decision because especially when you're paying that kind of money and it's your first time, you definitely want to make sure you choose the right ones. So first thing, um, basically what I'm going to do is compare both of them. I'm going to compare. Um, the iPad 1, the iPad 2, the iPad 3, the iPad 4, and then the iPad mini. Um, it's for, so you can see like which one would work best for you. Um, what's the difference between them and how different the price is going to be most importantly. Um, so we start off with the first generation iPad. Um, and this was originally released in 2010. It started it all. Um, and really when this was released, it was four ninety nine. That was it. If you wanted an iPad, this was the choice. Um, there was no other options. Um, then when the iPad two came out, um, what happened was really um, the first one got discounted and sold, refurbished and used, but still, it just compared to the iPad two, it really didn't look that good. Um, but now, since we have so many different choices, the iPad one is a good choice um, for some people because it's cheap and. Um, it's cheap used, and it would work well for quite a few things, so, um, it's quite thick compared to the other iPads that they're releasing now, but, it but really, if you hold it, I doubt it's gonna be that thick, um, it's a little beefy compared to the other ones as well, but still, um, it's something that you'll, you should be able to hold in one hand and be able to enjoy either way because it's an iPad. Um, the latest operating system it runs is iOS 5, and it gets no more updates after that, which iOS 5 is a pretty, um, it's a good operating system. iOS 6, I really didn't think it added too many features that would be useful on an iPad, um, especially on the first generation iPad, so I think iOS 5 was a good stopping point. Um, so, compared to the iPad 2, it may not look that good, but I think it would work quite well, especially for a business user, because if you're buying an iPad for business, you might want to get it at a discount, and you really don't need a camera or an ultra-thin design or light or something. Um, the iPad 1 would work perfectly fine um, for you, and you can find them pretty cheap on eBay. Um, I doubt you can find them refurbished on Apple because they're older, so Apple's not going to be refurbishing them. Um, but they should have them used, quite a few used ones on eBay because everyone's trying to buy the latest models. But um, if you're smart, you can be smart and buy a first generation one for cheap, probably around 250 300 maybe 350 but somewhere around that margin. Oh, and then the second one is the iPad 2, which Apple now sells for $399. Um, it's 18 months old. It was released in 2011, one year after the original iPad. Um, and it's one third thinner than the first generation iPad. And it's a lot lighter and it's also faster because it's a faster processor inside an A5 processor. I don't remember what the iPad, the original one had, but I know it wasn't, it was kind of slow compared to the second iPad. Um, it's quite thin, as you'll see in the picture. Um, the iPad 1, compared to the iPad 2, looks really fat because the iPad 1 is, because the iPad 1 is fat. But, um, because it really, it's kind of thin, but compared to the iPad 2, it really isn't because um, it just, so ultra thin for a tablet of its size. It's also got two front facing cameras and um, comes in two colors. This is the first time it came in two colors because the, the original iPad only came in black. But the iPad 2 comes in black and white and has 3G connectivity, which the iPad did have. Um, but the iPad 2 also has it. Um, everything you love about the first generation iPad, but just a lot thinner, a lot lighter, and with even more added features like a camera and a processor. Um, now the the third one that came along was, it was considered the new iPad. It was the third generation iPad, and it was pretty cool. Um, basically it added, it made the iPad, the se second iPad, um, it basically took what the iPad did, the iPad 2 did, and made it better. Um, it added a retina display, a super, four times the pixels than the iPad 2. Um, it made it a lot bigger, and made the pixel display a lot nicer. Um, 
but yet um, it added 0 0.04 inches of thickness and about 10 or 11 ounces of weight. So to some people that may not matter, but to also some people it might matter. Uh, it might be the deciding factor. And also you can only get those refurbished from Apple occasionally at a good deal. Um, occasionally they're refurbished and also you could find them on eBay. Um, but the biggest thing is the screen. And then they also add a little bit bigger of a camera, which on an iPad you're probably not going to be shooting pictures that much anyway. So it really isn't a good um, a deciding factor, I wouldn't think. Um, and they also added 4G LT connectivity. So if you're planning on doing wireless, then that would probably be a must because then definitely be a must because 3G compared to 4G is a lot faster. Um, and then also, um, speaking of speed, um, the processor in the iPad 3 is a little is better than the second one. And then we have the fourth generation iPad, which basically took the iPad 3, gave it a better FaceTime front facing, a FaceTime HD camera, and changed the charging port and fixed some overheating issues. That was it. And now Apple is currently selling that one for $4.99. A lot of people are mad about that because they went out and bought the new iPad. And now suddenly it's the um, oblivious iPad that isn't even mentioned on Apple's website except for refurbished. And then everyone's trying to sell to get the fourth generation because they have to have the latest model. But really, I don't think it'd be worth it deal when you can get the iPad 2 for $3.99 or used third generation iPad um, for uh, around that same price, $3.99 or maybe even cheaper, even though it's used, or maybe refurbished. Refurbished from Apple is basically like new. It comes in the box, vigorously refurbished, and it's basically just like getting a new one. Or if you get it refurbished from somewhere else, or even used, it's to be worth it, because you have to think they've only been out for six months. Um, they were released in March 2000, 2012, and the iPad 4 was released in October of 2012. So they've only, whatever one you get, it's only going to have been around for six months. I mean, it was made six months ago, so the battery life is going to be good, the processor should be good, and it should be in pretty good shape, because Apple products do hold it for a while. Um, I know, I have an, um, there's an iPad, an iPod that I have. I think it's been for like since alive for like since 2009. It really doesn't show much signs of slowing. Um, it's an iPod Classic, and it's been used quite a bit. Um, so, despite physical signs of use, they really the insides of them really hold up quite well. Um, and then last but not least, we have the iPad Mini, which was also released alongside the fourth generation iPad um, on October 23rd. Um, and it really just kind of changed the iPad landscape because it was it's ultra light. It's razor thin, just like the new iPod, the 5th generation iPod Touch. But, um, the difference is that it's got a 7.9 inch screen. And to a lot of people, that's worth it because it has the added portability. But, for some people, the price at coming in at 329 is just not worth it when you can get an iPod Touch, um, for 299 or a used iPad for cheaper or around that same price. One iPad 2 for 399 Or you may want to spend the money and go so basically it all comes down to which iPad you want. Now um, iPad, the first generation, is works well for business. Um, I think it'd be perfect for a business user. Um, especially at the price. Um the iPad two would be best for someone who wants an iPad but doesn't exactly want something used, but also doesn't want to spend four hundred ninety nine dollars, but still wants the full iPad experience and doesn't want the seven inch tablet experience. Um even though it's 7.9 inches, they don't want anything that's a 7-inch tablet. Still, it's got the small feel. There's nothing like the big screen of an iPad. Um, the iPad 3 will work well for people who want an HD display. Um, and want something just, um, a little bit better than the iPad 2. Um, either way, the iPad 2 and the iPad 3 just have a better processor, and you're going to be able to get them about, uh, at about the same price. So just keep your, an eye out on Apple and on eBay for good, um, iPad 3 deals because um, you might be able to find them at the same price, or maybe even cheaper, because recently Apple has them listed for $379 refurbished, which, like I said, on Apple, it's basically as good as new, and they are perfect for, um, it's absolutely perfect um, to be able to get an iPad 3 for lower, a lower price than the iPad 2. Um, so just watch it for the refurbished section of Apple of the Apple website to, um, to be able to find deals um, and be able to save some money. On um, the iPad 4, I would say it wouldn't work for anyone. It really just isn't worth the money unless you have four ninety nine and want the latest, greatest thing. If you have the money to spend, I still wouldn't even say it. I'd say buy an iPad three refurbished for three ninety nine and spend the extra hundred bucks on apps. So unless you absolutely have the greatest thing, the iPad four is not worth it. And then of course the iPad mini is definitely um, I would say is a lot is definitely worth it for people who want portability. If you want portability 
you definitely you have to get the iPad Mini. The iPad just doesn't compare to the iPad Mini for in terms of portability and lightness. Also, if you want an e-reader, of course, the iPad 2 works as an e-reader, and the 3 and 4 also do, but they're a little bit heavier. Um, oh, well, um, they're heavier than the 2, and then the Mini is much lighter than all the iPads, all of its um, larger cousins. It's much lighter for e-reading, so it's perfect for e-reading, and also for kids' hands. So if you want something portable as an e-reader and me or a kid's tablet, the iPad Mini is indispensable. It's the perfect thing because it's not too big, not too small. It's just the right size. Um, so hope this helps with your. Um, buying your first iPad this Christmas. I think I'm going to go for the iPad 2 because of the nice price, but if I also find a refurbished one, a good deal on an iPad 3, I'll probably go for that. Um, but that's my decision because I think um, I like the price and I also like the size. I think I want a larger tablet because I've used the Kindle Fire for quite a while and I think I just want something a little bit bigger than that. Um, so, um, basically it all comes down to you, um, but I hope this video can help you narrow your decisions and um, kind of decide it, um, help you decide what you really want in an iPad and help you decide um, which one you want based on budget and um, features. So that's it for this review and um, just enjoy your iPad once you get it. <laughs> Either whatever iPad you're getting, you're going to get a nice iPad. It's going to get be unlike any other experience you've ever experienced before. So either way, you're still getting an iPad, and that'll make your Christmas a pretty awesome Christmas.